bending. The armchair aviator. The armchair aviator versus the bending. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmasters, and honored guests. As you can probably tell, I am a pilot. Actually, I'm an airline pilot. That's right. I have logged hours in all kinds of conditions and weather. I have flown in and out of some of the world's trickiest and most dangerous airports, like Baghdad and Sao Paulo, Brazil. You may be wondering, how does this guy, with all of his amazing Toastmaster responsibilities, find the time to possibly be a commercial airline pilot? The answer, it's my passion. You could say it's my mistress. I'm driven by it. I make it happen. The true test of my aviation expertise came last winter, when I was invited to be a keynote speaker at a Toastmasters leadership conference in London. This time I was a passenger on a trans-oceanic airline, a United Airlines Boeing 777. I chose economy. I was in seat 25A so that I could have a good view of the port side wing and engine. The doors closed. We pushed back, and I eagerly anticipated the taxi, takeoff, and climb to cruising altitude. But ladies and gentlemen, this aircraft would not make it to the UK. The trouble began over Nova Scotia. There was a terrific storm. Thunder, lightning, hail, rain, snow. The aircraft buffeted. The cabin was twisted. Finally, at one point, the aircraft plummeted hundreds of feet. There was a cacophony of breaking glass, dishes, and screaming passengers. But above the din of it all, over the PA, a lone voice. Is there anyone? who knows how to fly a 777. <laughs> I jumped out of my seat and eagerly said, yes, I am your man. The first officer came down the aisle and escorted me up to the flight deck. When I got to the flight deck, I looked in horror as I saw the captain was out cold, possibly with a heart attack. That meant that it was just me and the first officer to fly a twin engine wide body 777. I calmly assured him that I had intimate familiarity with this aircraft, with the General Electric engines and the sophisticated avionics. He was greatly assured. It was now time for quick action and decision making. We picked up the captain and carefully transported him to a nearby galley, set him down where he was cared for the in-flight crew. Then we set back to work. We had another problem because the storm had shorted out the main electrical panel in the airplane which meant that we were going to have to fly this airplane totally manually, all by hand. We set a goal to find the closest airport that could handle a 777 with braking difficulty. And we found it, Reykjavik, Iceland. I settled into the left-hand seat, gripped the yoke, and tapped the pedals. They felt sluggish at first. I called to the first officer, switch off the autopilot, set the flaps at 20 degrees, and start the descent. I contacted Reykjavik Air Traffic Control Center to alert them we had a mayday and to clear all aircraft in our path. Reykjavik Center, Reykjavik Center, this is United 214 Heavy. We are at flight level 350, requesting level 150. The aircraft descended through the muck and murk of the icy storm. It pitched and yawed. I called again to the first officer, flaps 40 degrees, Gear down, the runway is in sight. I peer over the glare shield, and I can see the outer runway marker lights, the taxiway lights. We flew over a highway, then the inner airport road. 100 feet, 50 feet, 30, 10, touchdown. The aircraft slammed down hard on the tarmac and gripped for stability. I called for spoilers, the spoilers went up. I pulled back on the throttles we had reverse thrust, and the aircraft came to a shuttered slow stop on a taxiway very close by, where emergency vehicles were waiting. The upshot is that Bill Gates was the one who saved us all. <laughs> were it not for my Microsoft Flight Simulator X, I would not have been able to possibly master <laughs> the 
complexities of Boeing 777. That's right, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, next best thing to real flying. <laughs> that evening, I boarded an Iceland Air flight for London as a hero in first class. I ate, drank, and slept in peaceful tranquility for the duration of the flight. Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>